fish fans, it's Captain Mark Hollywood Johnson here, my favorite place in all of Murata, the Tackle Center, with my very dear friend, Donnie Lang, owner of the Tackle Shop. And I'm here with the boys from Salt Strong, and yes, it is summertime, and we are itching to go offshore fishing in our bay boat. So what do we want to talk about today? Today, we are talking about how to go out in your bay boat, do some offshore fishing, and keeping it really simple. Right here in front of us, you can't make it any simpler than that. We have what we call tuna worms, and we have what we call the dolphin feather. Between these two lures, you can catch all you want to catch offshore fishing, keeping it simple in your bay boat. Donnie, go ahead and show them. This is a go-to bait that we've been dragging. I mean, a regular, simple feather that uh, that works for everything around here. I've caught everything from blue marlins on, it was a like blue and white. My first blue marlin was on that right there. But uh, to blackfin tunas, to dolphin, um, sailfish. But this is rigged on 40 pound fluorocarbon. It's a super simple rig. Tie a knot, 3407 Mustad. But these are very simple little lure that work for everything. You can pull these around, you can pull them on your TLD 15, you can pull them on your tarpon gear, on a spinning rod. If you're, if you're down here in the Keys, you can pull these things on, you know, on your spinning rods on 20 pound gear around the humps and catch your blackfin tunas. You can catch everything you ever wanted to imagine and keep it simple. It is very, very simple. This black and purple is the, the black fin tunas can't resist it. And this works all up and down the East Coast, not just down here in Almorada. I mean, we catch fish on these things everywhere we go. You know, that dark color is just a killer for the tunas. So, so the beauty of this is that if you're running late or you don't want to deal with bait or you don't have time, you can keep this stuff in your tackle box and you can go offshore fishing anytime you want. So as long as you keep them dry, rinse them with fresh water when you're done, they'll last you until the fish take it away. So your feathers, like he said, okay, very simple rig. You can buy them all pre-rigged, you can rig them yourself, use them, wash them in fresh water, put them back in your tackle box when they're dry. You have all your different colors, they come in different shapes and sizes. And also too, like we said, this is very popular here in South Florida. We call this the tuna worm, also known as the sand deal. For $4, you can buy this. You can drag this behind your boat, your schoolie dolphin, your blackfin tuna, and they your work. skipjack, and they get bit. They so work. you don't have to fool with bait if you don't want to. You can always keep these in your box so you can go on, on a whim. And everything you're gonna catch on a 20 pound spinning rod, fishing offshore in your bay boat, you can get it done with a very, colorful selection of artificials very simple it's uh keep it simple and it works this is you will catch like fish. a go-to a go-to workhorse right here for you know your dolphin your tunas you know all up and down the coast anywhere you're gonna go you're gonna pull this you're gonna get bit you know you're gonna pull these People might look at you funny when you put it out until you get bit, but they eat them. They definitely eat them. They work. They, they get the job done. All right, stay tuned. More offshore info coming. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong in wet lines today